today we have a bit of a different video. We are not doing a sleep apnea video. Well, kind of we are a little bit, not a CPAP video, that's for sure. We are looking at a bunch of things that I've purchased on Amazon and I'm going to look at them and try them. And some of them I've already had to try before this video, but I'm gonna explain to you my thoughts on some of these things. Some of them are scams. Some of them are actually not too bad. Some of them I use myself. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing, we're gonna start things off with an absolute bang, and that is the snow stopper. Now, I don't wanna give the snow stopper any more uh, credit because if I had it my way, this product would be uh, disappeared off the face of the earth. And it is a little, uh, I guess, not so little, it's, it's, a, it's a big watch the size of about maybe one and a half um, Apple watches that prevents you from snoring. Yes, a watch on your wrist from China uh, prevents you from snoring. And for just $10, you don't even have to use a CPAP machine. So it takes a AAA battery. You turn on uh, the little dial here and you can see the little red thing glows in there. And uh, you can test it by clicking this and shocking yourself. Now, I decided to turn this on. I was like, how bad could it be? I, I assume that this would be um, that would, it would do absolutely nothing because it looks like um, a little gadget you would get almost from like a Spy Kids dollar store playset. Calling home base, you know what I mean? This, this is what I get from this vibe here. So I was just like, oh, I'll just turn it up to max, click the button, and it did shock me, okay? It did <laughs> both surprise me in terms of shock me, and it did shock me. But the pain uh, is tolerable at the max setting, but very, very discomforting. Uh, I mainly had pain in my wrist and then I had pain in my feet because my feet were touching the metal base of my office chair at the time of the shock. And it basically feels like, if you've ever been stung by jellyfish, it feels pretty much like that. So it doesn't give you an immediate shock in terms of like, say you put your hand into like a sock, a socket and you have maybe jolt. I've never really been electrocuted in, in like a huge way or anything like that. So I don't, I just basically are basing this off cartoons. <laughs> but it gives you like a shock where it just kind of radiates kind of a feeling of displeasantness in your body. It makes you feel like you've got stung by a jellyfish. And by the time you realized uh, you did get stung, it's already too late and the pain's there for like a solid extra 20 minutes. Uh, so my feet were kind of sore for 20 minutes after I had my initial shock with this. Uh, then I decided to keep trying it, um, even though it actually does kind of scare me at a low power setting. So like a level one or two, I was kind of scared to go up to a level seven as before. And I tried sleeping with this for a few days and uh, it does absolutely nothing. At a power setting of one or two, uh, you don't feel it at all. Obviously this thing is garbage. I think I bought it, let's see. I got it for uh, $17, it has 2.2 stars. Everyone hates it and yeah, it's kind of funny. But the reason why I'm adding it into this review is not because I think people are gonna buy it because obviously on Amazon it is, is so poorly rated, but people on Facebook see these products because they're drop shipped. And what drop shipping is, it's when a company or usually some just one dude uh, finds a product from China that they can purchase for extremely cheap and they run ads on Facebook and they sell it to people directly off Facebook. They click the link, they go to this click funnel type website and it's just so easy to fill out and people who are frustrated with the fact that they keep snoring and they have sleep apnea who are desperate, sometimes even a little bit older, who are more susceptible to scams online, buy this product. So I don't think anyone's really gonna be buying this product on Amazon, but if you see one of these on Facebook or if your dad or your mom or your grandparents send you this and say, hey, could I replace my CPAP machine with this? Tell them no, it is a scam. And last thing, I do wanna read out some of the manual because it, it's not very clear, so perhaps I could have been using it wrong. In the busy, nervous, modern troubles, according to statistics in adults, 60% of snoring, but generally people only negative to sleep snoring. Okay, so that is the sleep watch, complete and utter garbage. So next up is this alarm clock, this little, beautiful little alarm clock from Windshine, and you can touch it and it changes in brightness, okay? 
it has a little bit of a LED screen here. Um, and when you turn on the alarm, you can have it at a setting where it turns on basically some noises and it turns this on over time. So it gives you a nice, easy wake up uh, cycle versus just the ring, ring, ring that most people are used to. And this is actually a product that I use. I didn't have to buy it for this video, but it is a very cheap Amazon product. So I thought I'd just include it. And I do quite like it. The reviews are like 4.2 out of five. So not like insanely good, but I got it because my girlfriend has a hatch and a hatch is like $270. And I was like, okay, I kind of like the alarm clock light thing. So I'm like, I'm gonna look for one. And this guy here is 39 Canadian dollars, way cheaper than $280. Um, and it works for me. Now this compared to a hatch, obviously it's not gonna have all the features of a hatch. A hatch makes white noise. I think it has a speaker. You probably you can probably play music. Um, and the speakers are a little crisper and a little nicer. So if you want some white noise to go to bed, or if you want some nighttime sounds like crickets, maybe an hour before you go to bed, um, then the hatch is gonna have more features. This guy here, the speaker is not that nice. So the waves sound that I've selected are, I mean, I'll let you hear them. So these are the waves. You can do different. This is the forest, right? So the speakers aren't the greatest. It's not like some HD glistening uh, wake up scenario. But for a little bit of a nicer waking up scenario, I don't mind the alarm clock whatsoever. Nice. The anti-snoring mouth guard. Okay, so this anti-snoring mouth guard, you can see them all over Amazon, and these are a product that people do actually buy. It's a product that's trying to take place of an MRD, which is a mandibular uh, repositioning device, um, also just sometimes known as a sleep apnea oral appliance. And what these appliances do is they push the lower jaw forward to bring uh, where the tongue is connected slightly forward, right? Uh, so it doesn't fall back and hit um, the back of their throat. And this is something that allows for uh, a little bit of curing for mild to moderate sleep apnea or obstructive sleep apnea. Now this is supposed to be working in the same way, but the main difference between an Amazon mouthpiece and a custom dental mouthpiece is again, the custom appliance. The custom appliance is able to go around your jaw, be very uh, minimal on your jaw and then move your jaw forward. Whereas when you're trying to mass produce a mouth guard that fits for everyone, there's a lot of more constraints to that. You kind of have to have a piece that can, can be custom molded to most people. And uh, the result is something very bulky and doesn't work very good, okay? And when I say bulky, there's a pretty big difference when you're putting something in your mouth between let's say a quarter of an inch, right? Something can be bulky and something can be comfortable. So I boiled it in some water like you're supposed to, but because there is a, like a hard plastic shell here, the hard plastic shell doesn't move. This is very, it's not like a mouth guard you'd use for like martial arts. It's very, very hard. You can hear it. And only the outer portion here is the part that can be customized to your jaw. So I bit down on it and as you can see, you have some marks here. Basically, it's extremely bulky and it's also too small for my mouth. It's so bulky. First time I tried this, I didn't melt it enough. This time here, I really melted it down, uh, mainly because I was trying to film it so it stayed in the water for way, way longer. And you can see it started kind of deforming at the top there, but it doesn't really add discomfort. Um, that being said, it really melted uh, past where the plastic is, which I think is a good thing because now it can actually go into my mouth. As you can see, my f teeth do fit it on the second boil a lot better. It almost goes into the groove. I think it actually would help your tongue stay off the back of your throat. However, um, it is a little more uncomfortable just because it is so bulky. So unlike a dentist doing it professionally, you're probably just gonna be guessing on which, you know, how much you need for this to kind of slide forward and back. And uh, it's gonna be a nightmare. It's probably gonna cause you long-term jaw mouth issues if you were to use this for the long-term. And in general, not comfortable at all. So I would not recommend this. Just like the bracelet, it is a bit of a scam product. Moving on, let's talk about nasal strips, okay? 
and nasal vents. Now, what are nasal strips and nasal vents? Some people get them confused with helping with sleep apnea. Well, sleep apnea is generally something that, well, at least for obstructive sleep apnea, is your tongue or jaw going to the back of your throat and creating uh, an airway blockage. What nasal strips and nasal vents help with is within the nasal cavities. Okay, so if you look at my nose here, you can see that if I inhale uh, really hard, you can see right here and here, my nose skin will suck in. So for someone like me, it causes the inability to breathe out of my nose easily, especially at night when some of those uh, muscles relax even more. Uh, and even during the day, like I can breathe out of my nose, but it's never a nice, good breath. So I'm gonna demonstrate these guys here, the vents. If I put them into my nose, just like that, I'll jam them up there. Just watch, I'm gonna inhale. You might be able to hear the difference, but watch right here on my nose. See the difference there? So this guy helps keep the nose open, so they definitely work. Are they gonna work with sleep apnea? No, because with sleep apnea, I mean, I guess technically obstructive sleep apnea could be your nose, but typically it's a much bigger blockage with your throat and your uh, tongue relaxing in the back of your throat. So uh, that's not really gonna cure your sleep apnea, uh, but it is gonna help you breathe out of your nose a lot easier. So I'm gonna try the happy breathe now. These are the nose strips. Put it right here. So you might be able to see it. I think it'd probably block off where it actually happens, but. See, you can see the difference. So that's what these guys do. Um, and I would say they work. So this is one Amazon product. You don't feel bad about buying. Uh, they do work, they do help, um, and they do help you breathe. Next thing we have another scam product, the smart anti-snoring device. Now this is very similar to our bracelet where it shocks you. Now, because I had the shock from the bracelet, I was a little hesitant to use this, but I did anyways. If you click the button and you cycle through, you can cycle through six different intensities. Now, since I got kind of shocked from the bracelet product, I didn't want to use the six out of six lights uh, when actually testing it. So I used uh, one, two, and three intensities, all of which I could actually feel, but I do not think that this would help you in any sort of way. It's just giving you a slight electrocution, if anything. You can see it's kind of off center because this string is so much longer than this string, so it's totally mispositioned to the side. Um, and yeah, it just gives me a bit of a tingle, kind of like stung by jellyfish type of feel. I don't think it's gonna help you at all. What this is trying to emulate, it's trying to emulate um, the hypoglossal nerve stimulators that you're gonna see in uh, companies like uh, Inspire Sleep is gonna put that in there. That's gonna have a lead that goes into your chest cavity and then a lead that goes into uh, your, beside your tongue and it's gonna be a surgery process. And when the implanted device indicates that you're gonna be taking a breath, it sends a very small impulse to directly to the nerve that stimulates the tongue for the tongue to move for a split second to get rid of that obstructive sleep apnea. With this, however, um, I tried like making noises, I tried moving, I tried doing all sorts of stuff while sleeping and I couldn't tell when this thing was shocking me or when it wasn't, it just felt like it was like stinging randomly um, and it's not gonna be <laughs> nearly as pinpoint as a real uh, hypoglossal nerve stimulator. So yeah, it's another scam product. And what do you expect for like a $10 product? Like, like of course this thing is gonna be a scam, but I just wanted you to make this part of the video so if someone asks you, Will this work? You can send them this video and they can say, and they can at least hear it from someone who works in the sleep apnea industry that this is a complete and utter scam. Now I got a few more products for you here. I got a sleep mask here. This one's by a company called Pretty Care. Super cheap, super cheap quality, blah, blah, blah. But I think for a sleep mask, it's pretty good. If you are gonna get a sleep mask from Amazon, get one that has a concave eye to it because I tried it and it's actually pretty good. I'm gonna keep this product because I go camping uh, and I, you know, camping and what's it called? I guess vanning, vanning. I have a camper van, I guess you could say. So I never thought of myself as someone using a sleep mask just because I don't like things around my eyes, especially when I'm sleeping. Uh, but this concave here is pretty good. Like it doesn't have any pressure at all that I was used to when I tried old sleep masks back in the past. And 
using the sleep mask in a place with windows in my van here camping is actually pretty good. I can put it on, barely even feel it. So for 10 bucks, it works. And not only does it work, but it's actually pretty comfortable. Oh yeah. You have a partner that uses CPAP or you use CPAP or someone snores because they don't have a CPAP and you need some air plugs. Which are the better air plugs? These ones that I see all over Amazon, little circle here, okay? So we have these typical ear plugs or these wax boys, okay? Which one is better? The wax ones. But it's not as stark as you might think. Um, these ones here, the new upgrade earplugs are actually pretty good. Now there, there's nothing to them. They're just basically the headphone, like a, a wireless headphone without the headphone. This loop here is, it's not doing it. They try to advertise it like it allows airflow or some things or sonic waves or crazy stuff, right? Um, it, it doesn't do anything, but it does plug your ear. It's a fairly comfortable and it does reduce some, um, some noise. But these guys here, the little wax boys, or uh, a little bit step up. Not crazy, not like a huge step up, but a little bit better than these guys. And you can roll them up, you can put um, this little, little piece here that you make into your ear. Not too much, you don't wanna get it stuck. And then you just squish the rest and it stays in pretty nicely here. You don't feel that at all with the pillow. I tried testing both of these products with speakers beside me, with CPAP running beside me. You can still hear a CPAP um, running a little bit, but it does drain it out. It does bring the decibels down. Um, and so the wax earplugs and the other earplugs, not a terrible purchase. One purchasing hack though, is I see these guys here on Amazon. Some of them are like 50 bucks on Amazon and some of them are 10. These ones were the cheapest ones I could find. If you are purchasing products like this or products like this, make sure that you select uh, in the menu like cheapest option or a price bracket because they're all coming from the same place. They're all coming from the same manufacturers typically. Um, as long as they have good ratings, you can actually find a price discrepancy of like three, 400%. I can hear you. Now for the last product is a product that I made an actual review of uh, that inspired this video. And that is the electronic anti-snoring device, which is the micro CPAPs you sometimes see. And this is supposed to be a little micro CPAP and it has two little fans in here that spin a little bit and are supposed to have a little bit of draft and blow air into your nose. And you can put it in your nose and it does stay in your nose for like, it does stay in your nose for quite a while. I would say it stays there for about four to five seconds. So if you're sleeping between four and five seconds, it, it might help a little bit. If you're sleeping longer than four seconds, uh, it's not gonna help, I'll show you. Okay, so you put that in, you hit the pillow right here. Oh, okay, so that was your sleep. Let me try one more time. Put it into your nose. Okay, you walk over to your bed, you slip. Now, if you do tape it to your nose, if you do actually stick this guy in your nose and it stays there, it also doesn't do anything at all because these two fans, uh, you can see, I guess, with the uh, little grass I have here, doesn't make any airflow. I actually tried with a toilet paper and a CPAP. I'll put the video right here. And uh, you can see that these guys here don't blow the toilet paper at all, whereas the CPAP blows the toilet paper all over the place. The reason why is because this makes absolutely no draft. And I can, if you can see here, like I can touch, as soon as you touch them, the fans stop. They are the weakest fans on earth. Probably one of the biggest scams on this list. It does absolutely nothing and it goes straight to the junk drawer. That's it for my sleep products I found on Amazon. I hope this video was somewhat interesting, if not maybe a little educational. Please consider subscribing, please consider leaving a comment, and please consider leaving more video ideas. Take care guys.